Welcome back to Rise Entertainment 360. Now, some of the best restaurants in the world are located right here in New York City, and they celebrate not just super cuisine and new food trends, but also the evolution of cultures. Edward Gomez is the head chef and owner of Denoy Restaurant in Midtown Manhattan. It serves Northern Italy cuisine, but also weaves in different cultures. The Gomez family has mixed heritage, and it blends it with the Argentine flavor in traditional Italian cooking. Chef Gomez, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. So let's start off with this weaving of cultures. How do you do that when you're preparing dishes? Uh, well, we're just taking different ingredients from different uh, nationalities, different countries, and kind of bring them all together, but cook it our style with the Italian flavor in it. So what do you have over here? What's so what right have? here we have uh, homemade burrata fatta in casa mm -hmm. with Mexican pico de gallo on top, which is tomatoes, red onion, mm -hmm. uh -huh. cilantro with a little uh, white vinegar. Uh -huh. Then we have avocado sliced on the side so you can blend it all together, uh -huh. and with Portuguese sauce octopus, which is uh, boiled right now and then grilled with a little garlic and oil. Now, burrata is the hot cheese right now, correct. right? Yes. Correct, <laughs> correct. So it's split open. We uh, butterflied it almost. Okay. Very okay. nice. All when right. we make it, it comes out into a ball and then as we put it open, it makes it all the creamy texture come now, out. Now, is this a dish that they would normally come to your restaurant and say, I have to have, or is it something that's a signature dish that everyone orders when they come to Denoy? It's something, that, well, we put it on special often. It's on our regular menu because our regular menu hosts mostly uh, Northern and Southern Italian cuisine, uh -huh. but we blend this in the special. But people coming in ask for this frequently. They're like, "Oh, do you have the octopus today? Do you have the octopus?" I love octopus, but yeah. I see you have something else over there with this. <laughs> yeah, well, since there's a lot of the changing generations and everybody's uh, yeah. culturally mixed and especially diverse in the melting pot of New uh -huh. York. Uh, we decided to start making like Italian tacos for when people are in the bar area because they were just getting tired Italian of eating pasta. Italian tacos. Italian tacos, but so the Mexican, Mexican, <laughs> it's Mexican, it's a Mexican dish completely. There you go. But but you put your spin on it. Yes, correct. Okay. So normally we do some radicchio and some uh, uh, some iceberg lettuce and romaine and shred it up in the bottom. Now has food gotten a little bit more healthy over the years it with has. the trends? Completely, completely. Well, this is flour uh, flour based taco, so okay. that's very a uh, corn based taco. Mm -hmm. I mean, not a flour based. Mm -hmm. So that's really healthy at this point. And then we just grew grilled mahi mahi over on top that's blackened, so it's a little mm -hmm. on the peppery side. Now, how did you get into the restaurant business? Is it something you were born into, or was it formal I training? I was, I was. Actually, I fell in love with it through the show Cheers when I was growing up, oh, and my wow. family <laughs> from Argentina was in the restaurant business, but I was uh -huh. supposed to be some sort of doctor or lawyer, but that never happened. <laughs> You're making the world better by your food. Correct. Interestingly, uh, so the food in your restaurant, it's sort of like homemade food, sort of like it's inspired by your family recipes. Is correct, that right? correct. Like uh, grandma used to make it when you're at home, family dinners, Christmas time, Thanksgiving. We used to make a, you know, eggplant parmesans, eggplant rollatini, the chicken jambota, which is a blend of with sausage and everything. We have a shot over there with sausage, roasted peppers, roasted potatoes, garlic and oil. And the word jambota means everything in the fridge that's left over, put it into that's a, pot it, a pot and mix it in. Oh, so. we used to call that gumbo. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. It seems like this is a trend where people want food that could be made at home, but they want it in restaurants that are actually just bringing it up a notch. Is this sort of what you guys do? Yes, that's what I think we do. I think we specialize in doing that so people, like, even though there are a lot of really good home chefs, home cooks, but when you bring it to the restaurant, it comes out with a little bit of a different flavor because you have more time and you've been doing it so much more frequently. Now, this isn't your first restaurant. This, this is the Manhattan's is newest location that correct. you're it's opening. It, it's because we've opened. We're open six years now. Perfect. It's our okay. flagship on 49th and 3rd. Uh -huh. mm. uh, well, a lot of information is on our website, too. It's uh, Danoi NYC, so it's D-A-N-O-I-N-Y-C.com. That uh, we do private parties, we do uh, special events, but this is our eighth location. Okay. It's our fourth Denoy, but we have four other different types of restaurants as well. Uh -huh. Okay. So what else you got going on over there? What is and this? this one is uh, this is one of our most famed salads. So I figured I'd uh -huh. come out and show it to you. Yes. I want to just yes. list all the ingredients because. That's bok choy. No, no. This That's is a uh, this is it endive. The endive. Endive. Okay. Parts of artichoke. Uh -huh. Parmesan Reggiano cheese, or both both wedges. Oil and lemon dressing, which is easily Can made. Can you tilt it? I'd, I'd love to see it a little bit. Okay. okay. So right. basically, we've mentioned all this, all these ingredients. Hearts of palm, super uh -huh. healthy in raw California mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And then you just toss it with a little oil and lemon dressing on top with salt and pepper in so it. So as you know, this is Oscars week, and everyone's going to go home and want to have an Oscars party. What should we serve, or what is the main dish you could, if you had a oh, serving so of folks? Good. Oh. <laughs> I would start off with the salad for sure. Okay. And... Um, <laughs> 
And as we spin it over, uh -huh. put a little bit here. We get it right there. Yes. Do you have any more ingredients? Is there a little cheese that goes yeah, on Yeah, it goes there right on yeah. top. Oh, yeah, oh. you want a little Parmesan uh, yeah, on yours. A bit of <laughs> and that goes right on top for okay. flavor and decoration. You okay, can spin it so around. Okay, so I want to try this. Yes, absolutely. Here you are. Okay, so we have a little so salad. Is this, what is this called, the salad? Uh, Bianca salad, a white salad. A white mm. salad. Because all the ingredients being white and the off white. Or it was absolutely so delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try some of this octopus, right? Because yeah. this is what. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. So this is grilled, boiled and grilled? Yeah, boiled and grilled. Then. Lovely. Look, he's going to dig right in there. There you go. Dig right in there. It's great. It's great. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the burrata is homemade, so I would try that, too. Okay. Okay. With a little pico de gallo on top. So. Okay. okay. We, we got to get to these tacos. Yes, if we can. If we can. You make this cheese? Yeah. Can mm. you sell the cheese by itself? We should, but we have too many restaurants to run that it's hard to create another spin-off of a different type of business, which would be dedicated. So what's the goal for Denoy? What do you see yourself? Do you want a franchise? Do you want to open in different I, cities? I do it for fun. I love people. I love being able to take care of them. So we're completely ultra customer service driven. And hospitality is in my blood. I went to Johnson & Wales in Providence, Rhode Island. I've been doing this since I was 12. I'm 42 now. Mm -hmm. I know I don't look it, but that's... <laughs> this is fantastic food. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining no, us. Yes. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. I'd love yeah. to have you guys as our guests over we there anytime. We have to come. We're yeah. going to bring Shannon and Katora. Those are our hosts, and we'll be able to have a little our own I'd love meal. that. I'd love that. <laughs> this is fantastic. All right, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Thank you. We've got a lot more on Horizon Entertainment 360. Stick around, and we're getting a little bit more of a taste of the noise. Hey. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Did you I try love this taco? cheese.